Hello guys, today we make taralli, a real traditional Italian recipe from Apulia. You can find also in other regions, but the one from Apulia are the best. I hope that no other people from Italy get offended. I will give you three options, potato and rosemary, the spicy one with chili, and the classic one with sesamo seeds. Also, you can do plain, up to you. For uh, the spicy and the sesamo seed one, you need 500 grams of flour. In the flour I put already one teaspoon of salt, 150 grams of extra virgin olive oil, 150 grams of white wine. If you cannot find the white wine in your country, you can make it. I will use my homemade banana wine. We mix everything together, we prepare the dough and after we divide it, but I'll show you later. For the potato and rosemary, we need 200 grams of flour. In the flour I put half teaspoon of salt, plus 60 grams of extra virgin olive oil and 60 grams of white wine, again, banana wine, plus 100 grams of smashed potato. I boil already the potato, now I will clean it, I will smash it and I will add to the flour. But let's start with the classic dough, the one only with flour, extra virgin olive oil and the wine. Mix very well the flour with the oil you need to have a kind of crumble like this. We should add the wine, but the wine should be a little bit warm. So you can use the stove, classic, or you can use also the microwave, up to you. Warm, no boiling, remember. Now the all the ingredients are mixed very well. Before that we work our dough, we can add the spices, the thing that we like it. So I will add two teaspoons of sesamo seeds in half of the dough, and in the other half, one or two teaspoons of chili powder or chili flakes. Okay, now we put this dough apart, we cover it, and before we give the shape of the taralli, we should wait at least 30 minutes, one hour. Waiting, I prepare the other version. Now I take the potato, it's still warm, so I will peel the potato, smash it, add to the flour, work a little bit, add the oil, work a little bit, add the rosemary, work a little bit, add the wine, work very well. Probably I need 30 minutes, so after that I finish to prepare this dough, we can make the taralli. Work our dough very well, we shape like a ball, we cover and we should wait 30 minutes. Uh, sorry, before I make an error, 
I say 200 grams of flour is wrong. We need 260 grams of flour for the dough with the potato. This is one reason why you should watch my video from the beginning until the end, because sometimes I make some error. So uh, now we can uh, shape our taralli. So you take one piece of dough, you smell like this, like a small sausage, and after you can close like this. Shape all our tarallis. Now we should cook them, we boil them like the gnocchi. So in the pot I put already uh, the water, is hot, it's boiling. Now we put inside or throw inside in the water a few of them. When they start floating, they are cooked. So I put in this container, the one that usually we use to drain the pasta. And after you should put on the kitchen towel to dry. But because this one is the one with the sesame seeds, before putting them on the kitchen towel, I will put inside this uh, dish with the sesame seeds. In this way, there will be the sesame seeds also on the top. When they are finished, I will do the same things that I done with the other one with chili and the other one with potato and rosemary. And see you later for the baking. They should dry at least after that you boil them two hours. After 2 hours and 30, we can bake our taralli in the oven preheated at 180 Celsius degree for 20-25 minutes. Have a look. Keep on ice on them, like we say in Italian, because we want them to have a nice color, but not too dark. If not, they become bitters. And after 23 minutes at 180 Celsius degree, they are baked. Of course, 23 minutes each. Now we can taste it. Spectacular. They are really perfect for aperitivo. So I'm drinking my homemade uh. banana wine with the potato and rosemary. I'm eating my homemade cheese. The one with the chili, I ate like this because they're already spicy, a little bit too much for me. And the one with the sesame seed, I'm tasting with the homemade mochetta. Okay guys, if you have some advice, some suggestions, some requests, always down in the comments. If you have been in Italy and you tried them, please let us know down in the comments. 
because if you try it for sure you will remember because they are spectacular bye bye